Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be dropping rows with null values. It's fairly common in practice to receive incomplete data from data sources. Um, it's very often that we see databases and data sets that people put together and it's incomplete. Sometimes it's just for legacy reasons, uh, other times they just couldn't get a hold of the data. And so that's completely normal. If they're missing data that we're after, Depending on your use case, the entire row of data could be entirely useless to us. So in this lesson, we'll be dropping rows in our data frame based on if certain values in those rows are nulls. In the first cell, we're going to just get our data, data frame ready. So we have the same similar data set as before. We have a bunch of students, we have some subjects, we have a mark and we have a date. We also have one row which is completely full of empty values. In Python, they are none. Uh, once you move it to SQL, you'll see that they show up as null instead. So null and none in my videos are interchangeable. So let's go ahead and create this data frame. There we go, and we display that. Now, the first example I want to go through is being able to drop rows that all have null values in that, in that row. So what we use, what we'll be using for this exercise is nf dot, sorry, df dot na dot drop. And we have our data frame. We want to display it. Now we can see here we have one row is entirely nulls. And so if we want to drop that, which is completely useless to us, it gives us no value whatsoever. We can say marks underscore df dot na drop and the magic or the special source is here. And we're in the drop function. We specify all for the how argument. So that's just saying if all of the values are null, then we want to drop it. And so we run that. And our resulting data set only contains seven rows. We basically dropped the, the row where all of the values were null. Now, here in the next example, we want to drop rows where certain values are null. So here, in this example, we want to say um, we want to drop all the rows where the subject is null because we just don't, because if we don't know what subject it is, we don't know what where to assign that mark. So how we do that, marks underscore df dot na drop and we sub put the subset as subject and we call display on that. And what happens is that we end up dropping every single row where the subject was null. So we should be doing three drops there. Um, one of them was the null row entirely. And then we have two entries, one for Paul, one for Jessica, where they have null in the subject and we drop those. And therefore we end up with just five rows, which is exactly what we expected. Now, in the next example, what we want to do is we want to drop rows where any of the values in the row is a null. So how do we do that? We say marks underscore df dot drop na dot display. So this will drop where anything is null. Even if you just have one null or if there's an all null or anything in between, they get dropped. There we go. So we have now dropped that. Basically, we have dropped half of the data set because just w at least one of the values were null. The other way we can do this is if we just say marks underscore df dot na and we say drop like before instead of drop na, we just say drop and we say we set the word any, the keyword any 
on how we want to drop it. So this will drop if any of the values are null and we run display and what we see is the same result as here. So these are just two different ways of getting the same result. And that's how you drop rows with null values. See you in the next video.